Today we know that the Hawaiian archipelago is the 50th state of the United States of America. But at the beginning of the 19th century, it was very close to become a Russian colony. To see how things got there, we'll start with the political life of the Hawaiian Islands before the arrival of the Russians. Kamehameha I, also known as Kamehameha the Great, conquered most of the Hawaiian Islands, formally establishing the Kingdom of Hawaii in 1810. Kaumu Ali'i was the last independent Ali'i Nui, or ruling chief, of Kauai and Niahu, before becoming a vassal of Kamehameha I of the Unified Kingdom of Hawaii in 1810. Kaumu Ali'i continued to serve as Kamehameha's governor of Kauai. The Russian Empire and the Russian American Company established contact with Hawaiian King Kamehameha I in 1804. Russian vessels continued to visit the kingdom irregularly, with the primary transactions being focused on foodstuffs. On January 29, 1815, a Russian-American company ship, Bering, dropped anchor near Vaimea on Kauai. Captain James Bennett was ordered by Russian-American company governor Alexander Andreevich Baranov to use its estimated 100,000 rubles worth of furs and other cargo to purchase needed food and material supplies for settlers in Russian America. On the next night, the vessel ran aground in a storm. Bennett made an agreement with King Kaumali, giving him the wrecked ship, though its cargo remained Russian property. Several hundred Kauaians were involved in salvaging the furs and purchased supplies. Despite this, Bennett would later report that the ship and its cargo were both seized by Kaumali. Two months later, the stranded crew was evacuated from Kauai by Albatross. Bennett and two other American captains employed by the company pressed Baranov to wage an armed punitive expedition against Kaumali. The proposal stirred long discussions between Baranov and his deputies, but the governor favored a peaceful solution. In 1815, the Russian-American company sent German physician Georg Anton Schaffer to Hawaii to retrieve goods seized by Kaumali, chief of Kauai Island. According to the company instructions, Schaffer had to begin by establishing friendly relations with King Kamehameha I. Then, with or without Kamehameha's support, Schaffer had to recover the cost of lost merchandise from Kaumali. Kaumali eagerly signed a treaty granting Russian Tsar Alexander I a protectorate over Kauai. Kaumali convinced Schaffer that the Russians could just as easily capture the whole archipelago. Schaffer promised that Tsar Alexander would help him to break free of Kamenhamenha's rule. Kaumali allowed Schaffer to build a fort near Waimea, named Fort Elizabeth in honor of the Empress of Russia at the time, Louise of Baden. Two others, Fortress Alexander and Fort Barclay de Tolly, were named for the reigning Emperor Alexander and his Marshal Barclay de Tolly and constructed near Hanali on Kauai. Alarmed by all these activities, the natives of Hanali had revolted, leveled the forts at Hanali and burnt a distillery which had just been built and killing one of the Aleutian workers employed by Schaeffer. When it was discovered that Schaeffer did not have the backing of the Tsar, he was forced to leave Kauai. On July 19, 1817, Schaeffer left Hawaii for Guangzhou. Captain Alexander Adams replaced the Russian flag with the new Kingdom of Hawaii flag sometime before October 1817. Russian Fort Elizabeth eventually came under the control of Kamehameha supporters. The Schaffer affair cost the Russian-American company between 200,000 and 230,000 rubles, 